All right, Marcus, this is the last exercise of the workout. Thanks, Mike. I know you're <laughs> tired, but I am. you're coming into the home stretch. There's no reason to hold back. If there were 10 naked girls here, you'd go to failure. Yes, I would. You better believe you're bad, I would. Today. All right, let's go. Make sure the hand spacing is equal distance. That's very important, again, for beginners. I've had many clients over the years who, who will grab the left hand, for instance, too wide compared to the right hand being inwards, and that sets up an imbalance which will lead to injury. Very good. You see he makes each rep almost like a set unto itself. He goes down all the way, resets, takes a deep breath, and comes back up. You don't bounce the weight off the floor. Wrap your thumbs. Ray, why don't we show that demonstration about the importance of wrapping the thumb around the bar. This is very important. I don't understand where this came from. People are grabbing bars with the thumbs on top. Stand up there, please, Marcus. He's going to grab my wrist like that with the thumb. Now, he's going to hold it as hard as he can. Now, he's going to wrap his thumb. Now hold us You see how much more stability and strength is so derived hold. by wrapping the thumb around the bar? Beginners, please don't forget that. Always and intermediate and advanced bodybuilders too, if you made a habit out of it, please break that habit. And all your exercises, you wrap the thumb around the bar. And your spacing is All right. This is his last exercise. It is the best exercise in the world because it stimulates more muscles than any other exercise you might think of. We're going to have him do three warm-ups like we had him do on the incline press because the back is a, the lower back is what's called a very delicate articulation. You can damage it very easily if you don't pay attention to proper form, especially on this exercise. So Marcus, step up to the bar. Your feet should be slightly wider than shoulder width. The bar is flush against the shins. The bar is not away from the body, it's flush against the shins. Head up, back straight, and maintain that. Stand up. Don't arch backwards, take a deep breath at the top and the lower. With the deadlift and squat, I don't keep count of it or keep track of the cadence. You do it under full muscular control, making sure that no momentum comes into play. All right, now this is very light for Marcus. We're just getting blood into that lower back area, getting him set up psychologically for the working set, which is very intense considering, again, how many muscles are involved. He's gonna be extremely exhausted after this exercise. But it is the last exercise, so there's no need to hold back. All right, put some more weight on the bar, please, gentlemen, a 45-pound plate. We do a light set to warm up, get the blood flowing, then a light to more moderate set, as in this case, we went from 135 for the light warm-up to 225 for the intermediate warm-up. I want you to get three or four of these. Again, keep the proper form in mind. The bar is flush against the shin. Hands are equidistant apart. Head up, back flat, even concave. Now you see some people at the very last foot moment, forget all that, they round their back, drop their head, pick up their weight and tweak their lower back. If you do it in this fashion, you'll never hurt your lower back. Look at the thickness in his chest, his arm. It's phenomenal. And he only trains for about 40 minutes every eight days. I'm sorry, less than that. He's training once every six days now. All right, you feeling warmed up? Yes. Let's have you do one rep with 315. Please put another 45 pound plate on the bar, gentlemen. I want to stress the importance of keeping a training journal. Just as a doctor can better advise you through time by keeping a chart 
you too can better advise yourself through time by keeping a chart. In your chart on the upper left, please indicate the date of the workout. On the right hand side, indicate your body weight at the beginning of the workout, not after the workout. Now, obviously, you'll list the names of the exercises, the amount of weight, and be cautious. Be careful on this last point. Please accurately record the number of reps because even a one rep increase can be quite significant. Now this is not his working set, this is his last warm up. He's going to do one, maybe two reps depending upon how he feels. He's warmed up with two sets already, remember. Now this is the one that's going to set him up neuromuscularly, neuropsychologically even for the heavy intense activity that's going to follow this. All right, Marcus, don't lose. This is your last exercise. There's no need to lose motivation or feel down in any way. Perfect. If you had 20 more sets to go, I could see you holding back. But you're not a self-arrested, concrete-bound bodybuilder. You've got a good mind. Let's go for it. Yes, treat this as it is going to be your set. Are your hands equidistant? Yeah. All right, get your butt down lower than your shoulders, head up. Don't, don't jerk with the arms. The arms are straight. Think of the arms as chains. They're straight up and down with hooks on the end, your hands. There's no pulling. This is not a, a high pull like pop Olympic ah. I'm sorry. Look, this is a dead lift. All right, good enough. Is that heavy for you? All right, you're a little tired. How much more weight you think you can handle for five to eight reps? Any more at all? <laughs> okay. All right. I'm <laughs> I'm living on Fisher. Well, you push extra hard today. Yes. Yeah. So on, yeah. I would think so. <laughs> All right. Come on, Marcus. Really, this is your this is your last set of the workout. There's no good reason. There's no bad reason. There's no reason at all to hold back. This is the greatest growth stimulator of the body because it involves the most muscles. Yeah. Very good. That's it. Put it down carefully. All the way down. Don't, don't jerk it off the floor. Finally, you're tired. Come on, if you can't do one more, I kick your butt all the way out the door. You can do one more. Right now, it's all, it's all like that. Come on. Yeah, one more. All right, yes, I know you're tired. You're tired. Stop with the histrionics. Just go through the door. You're an animal. Oh, that's failure. This is the best growth producing exercise, but there are risk factors involved with this exercise not seen elsewhere. You've got to be very careful to perform this exercise as Marcus Reinhardt just demonstrated. Very good. That's the end of the workout. I'll see you in six days. All right.